Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be hitting up a little fruit or vegetable uh, type cook today. We're going to be smoking some acorn squash. Now, I know a lot of people grill acorn corn squash, and that's cool, but I'm trying to get some sweetness into this, and I don't want to use any type of maple syrup or sugar on the grill because that'll caramelize and burn before the acorn squash gets nice, soft, and luscious okay so we're gonna smoke these bad boys today all right so come on over here let's go ahead and get this prepped up and we're gonna get to work all right guys so here we have an acorn squash that i've cut in half or sort of in half my knife and skills was off just a little bit so one half is a little bit bigger than the other but that's okay they should both work just fine all right so the first thing we're gonna do is what acorn squash you see we cut them in half and we cleaned out all the seeds and all the inside and we're going to take some butter Pam here and we're going to spray the inside of our acorn squash, all right? And then we're going to hit them with this rub. Now, this is a rub that I got off the line for this cook here. This has uh, chili powder in it, a uh, little salt, little black pepper. It has some smoked paprika in it, turbinado sugar, uh, and one or two other ingredients. I'll put the ingredients up here on the screen for you guys to check out. We're going to hit our acorn squash halves with this rub here, okay? All right. We're going to be cooking on the Rectech Mini today. I'm going to have to try to find a way to get me another small Rectech so that I can do these smaller cooks. Uh, right now, I just have the 680 and the 700 along with the Rectech Mini and Though the 680 and 700 is too big to fire up for just such a small cook, even though we've done it before. All right, so we have this seasoned up. And now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a tablespoon of unsalted butter in the middle of each one of these acorn squash halves. All right. And now they're ready for the smoker. Uh, we're going to let them smoke for about 30 minutes. Uh, until the butter melts and then we're going to uh, take a brush and we're going to brush the butter all over the, the skin and then we're going to hit them again and we're going to hit them with a little warm apple pie rub from Rectech Grills, all right? So let's go ahead and get this on the smoker. All right, so we have the Rectech. It's at 225. So we got some nice smoke rolling here today. We're using uh, Rectech's Ultimate Blend. And we're just going to sit these on a rack just like this. And we'll be back in about 30 minutes after the butter melts to brush it down and give it a second seasoning. So, hey, don't go nowhere. All right, guys, it's been three minutes. So you can see that our butter has melted inside of our acorn halves. So we're going to just take our butter and we're going to brush it all over the flesh of the acorns. Oh, oh, don't want to fall over. Lose all that golden goodness on the inside. All right. So now we've brushed our flesh with the butter. We're going to add another level of flavor with the Warm apple pie rub from Rectech. You give it another level of flavor. Toss it inside the butter. And there we go. So now we're gonna turn the temperature up to 325 degrees and we're gonna smoke these until they are probe tender. Probably about 30 to 45 minutes. So hang around, don't go nowhere. All right guys, so it's been 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and probe these and see how soft they are. The butter is boiling, bubbling, and the flesh is really, really soft all the way around. Let's check the thick one. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and get these bad boys off and give them a taste test. All right, guys, so here are our acorn halves. They're nice, soft to the touch. They're almost falling apart. So 
I'm gonna take this bit of butter here and I'm gonna dab on the flesh just one more time. Hopefully it won't be too oily. And we'll go ahead and have a taste test. All right, I'll take my spoon here. Oh, nice and soft, almost like, almost like sweet potato. All right, let's have a taste. All right. Oh, it smells really good. All of the flavors and aromas from the seasoning came out really good. So may have to add a little bit more sweetness to it, but let's see how it came out. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is really good. I think it needs some more sweetness, so I may hit it again with some of the Rectex warm apple pie rub. But man, this came out really, really good. It's moist, it's ten tender. It almost tastes like sweet potatoes, man. It tastes so good, right? This is going to be a great side dish for any kind of fish or chicken or anything that you might want to go ahead and, uh, and cook along with it. It took only about an hour. We... Uh, cooked it at 225 degrees for 30 minutes to try to get some smoke into it and then we cranked the temperature to 325 degrees in order to get it nice and tender so this is a fantastic uh cook let me go ahead and have another bite i gotta say the buttery consistency of this acorn uh squash is fantastic and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more of this apple pie on top of it to see exactly how it comes out all right, taste number two. Man, that warm apple pie rub took this right over the top, man. So definitely a must try. I'm going to be cooking this more often. This is almost a dessert in squash style, okay? <laughs> so, well, that's all we have time for today. I'm going to put the ingredients for the original rub down in the description block. I'll put a link where you can get the warm apple pie if you want to get that. But this will taste good, too, if you sprinkle it with a little cinnamon and nutmeg, too, at the end when it comes off. I think you'll definitely enjoy it, okay? Well, like I said, that's all we have time for today. Hey, if you guys are interested in a Rectech grill, check out Rectech.com. Fantastic grills, fantastic service, okay? And that's about it. So, hey, if you want some Bad Beast merchandise, check out BadBeastBarbecue.com. T-shirts, recipes, and the whole nine yards are out there, okay? So, well, hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. <laughs>